One of the central challenges that we're trying to solve in molecular biology is how can we rapidly and precisely manipulate the biomolecules that talk to each other inside of a cell. Working at the intersection of biology and technology development, my lab seeks to invent new genetic engineering tools that we hope will pave the way for new kinds of gene and cell therapies. So over just the last few years, there's been a real explosion in the sequencing of genomes of microbes from all over the planet. And this vast amount of data is largely untapped. So we looked in these sequences for new CRISPR systems, which are really bacterial immune systems that are central to how these bacteria defend themselves against their forms of viruses. In this new study, we discovered new CRISPRs that naturally target RNA to develop a tool for RNA engineering. This is distinct from our other work on CRISPR-Cas9, which uses uh, DNA targeting molecular scissors. The, the DNA in your cells are largely the same, whereas the RNA product is really what's changing and mediates dynamic processes like inflammation or behavior. And in fact, many genetic diseases are actually caused by defects directly at the RNA level. And so by targeting RNA, we can start to try to manipulate these processes. After we found that um, the system that we discovered really does in fact target RNA, uh, we wanted of course to transfer it to human cells to actually modulate the RNA messages in those cells. The RNA messages inside the cell are not always just uh, translated into a single protein product. Sometimes a single RNA can be used to be turned into different kinds of proteins um, through a process called splicing. Um, what splicing does, it basically modifies the RNA message to turn into di two different kinds of proteins, for example. Um, and this balance of these two different types of proteins is uh, dysregulated in certain diseases like neurodegeneration. Neurodegeneration is just um, another term for uh, dementia. In one particular type of neurodegeneration called frontotemporal dementia, a protein called tau um, is changed. The tau transcript can be translated into two different types of tau protein. Um, and in a healthy cell, there's you know, a very finely controlled balance between those two different types of tau proteins. Uh, in the diseased cell, one type of protein now is dominating and more than it should be. So by using um, our RNA targeting CRISPR protein to target specific elements inside the RNA message, we're able to reset the balance between these two kinds of tau proteins. I think we're really only scratching the surface of what we can do with these genetic engineering tools. And by targeting RNA, the hope is we can develop new types of intelligent therapies that can respond to the state of a cell and not just the genome that encodes it.